This is a bending problem for strength of materials and we know that uh, for this beam that we see here and this is the cross section of it, the way we face uh, this way and we know that uh, it's able to handle a stress of 15 KSI in tension and 23 KSI in compression and they want us to determine the largest couple M right here that can be applied to this uh, material. Okay, this is the formula that we're going to be relying on. And if we take a look at it, let's uh, see. They gave us the maximum stresses that this material can handle. Therefore, we can go ahead and use the max version of the formula. We don't need the negative and the y. We're just going to go ahead and use it as a positive and go straight for the c. The y maximum is equal to C, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, we know the stress, tension and compression, so we're going to have two answers. Uh, we need to find M, so we're going to solve this formula for M. The C, we do not know it at this point, and the I, we do not know it. So these are the things that we need to calculate. So, in order to find our C and I, first we need to take a look at where is the neutral axis of this material. And as we can see, it's not a symmetric shape, so therefore we can just assume that it will be at the center. So we have to do separate calculations to find it. Okay, in order to find the neutral axis, I like to do it with a nice table. And over here I can mark the shapes that I'm working with and the items that I'm calculating. First I'm gonna calculate the area and everything else for the rectangle and then I'm gonna subtract this half a circle from it. Uh, this rectangle I shade because this one will be positive and the half a circle I leave it unshaded because that way I can remind myself that that needs to be cut out. So I'm going to be using a negative. So find the area for the rectangle, area for the half a circle. Make sure you put a negative because we are cutting it out. Now the Y bar for both items for the rectangle we know it's going to be at half point. So 0 0.6 since the height is 1.2. The half a circle we're going to be relying on these formulas which are in the back of any statics or strength of materials book. So we're gonna uh, rely on these. Um, what I meant by it's these, the centroid of common shapes, not the inertia. So we're gonna use both of them in this problem, but right now we rely on these centroid of the common shapes. So from here half a circle, we're going to find our Y bar, which is 0 0.32 from the, this would be right here, 4R over 3 pi. We found this one, this one, now we can go ahead and find 8 times Y bar, just simply multiply this by this, put it here, this by this, put it here, don't forget the negative, and this is the total, so add up the areas, add up this one, and use the formula for our total for y bar. Sum of a y's, this one, divided by sum of the areas, which is this one. And we finally found 0 0.724 inches, which will be our neutral axis from the bottom up. So the neutral axis will be from here, calculating 0 0.724 seven to four inches upwards so it will be somewhere over here there you go this is my n a neutral axis now we can go ahead and start looking at our items from our stress formula let's take a look at the moment of inertia and then y or the c because we're working with the maximum version okay so for I, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the inertia 
by calculating the inertia for the rectangle and subtracting the inertia for the half circle. Here are the plugged in formulas from here, the table for the rectangle and for half a circle down here for the moment of inertia. Simply plug it in, find the moment of inertia. Now the next item, our C's, we have to calculate for our maximum compression stress, maximum tension stress, therefore we need to calculate the maximum distances from the neutral axis to both sides of the material. So from the neutral axis we're gonna go to the top and then from neutral axis we're gonna go to the bottom. C top equals 1.2 minus 0 0.724 what we found here that will give me this distance the, from neutral axis to the top. From the bottom from here to the neutral axis it's the same as we found right here 0 0.724 so now we have our two C's here's my stress formula and I'm gonna go ahead and solve for M M equals the stress times I over C and now we're gonna split our problem in two uh, areas the moment for the tension and the moment for compression for the tension, we're going to take this formula that we found here for M and we're going to plug in the values that we need. The maximum stress for tension we were given as 15. So we plug that in times I. I will be the same for both occasions. So what we found here, plug it in, divided by C. Now we have to make sure that we pick the right C which way is tension and which way is compression. The moment is going from top towards the bottom, so therefore we know it's going to be compressing here and it will be stretching it here. So we need to make sure that we pick C top for tension. Plug it into the calculator and here it is our value. Now we need to continue with moment for compression. Same formula we were given that maximum stress for compression will be allowed 23 ksi. Plug it in, inertia, and then we have our C. Here the C will be going towards the bottom of the material, so C bottom 0724. Plug it in, here's our second value. Now as we see we found two moments that we can use for this uh, material. But the material actually can handle only one. You cannot take both of these. One is too big for it. So in order to make sure it will not fail, we will pick the smallest of the two. If we pick the bigger one, then when we apply the bigger one, then the small will fail. So therefore, smallest moment equal 6617 pound inches.